Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and this is a new journal I have to present to you. Uh, her name is Nature's Vintage Field Guide and she was inspired uh, by looking through many different uh, vintage field guides and birding books and um, this is what became of that idea. So I hope you like her. Um, just reading from my little cheat sheet here. Uh, she is eight and a half inches tall by five and three quarter inches wide. Uh, she has three signatures, 156 pages, not including the ephemera, one and three quarter inch spine, and an eight inch gator mouth. Yes, I happen to be a little addicted to the gator mouth books. Okay, that just means there's a lot of stuff packed inside. Okay, much of it is removable, so if you want to deflate the book down to a normal writing journal size, it can be removed and the whole thing will collapse. Okay. So she is closed. Her closure is this, uh, I created this uh, rope twine made from different fabrics that coordinate uh, with the journal herself. And uh, this easily comes off. On her front cover, she has an uh, aged metal book plate with the word journal. And she has a collage with cheesecloth, uh, old book page, um, dyed, hand-dyed cheesecloth, hand-dyed seam binding, uh, a little bit of sewing accents, and clusters of fibers and textiles. Her cover is made of a salvaged uh, vintage book. It was a bird book, and that was part of the inspiration for uh, this. Um, year unknown on the book, as the cover was the only thing that was there. And, uh, but she has beautiful natural aging um, on the cover of this book. Okay, and uh, she is, um, she's got an exposed spine with green, um, peach, and brown uh, embroidery thread showing. She has a beautiful uh, book spine jewelry with a collection of different ribbons and fibers and more of the uh, rope twine. And uh, I've made some, um, there's some stone jewels in here as well as some other little bedangly bobbly things and uh, that is attached to a uh, bulldog clip at the top which easily comes off for your viewing pleasure okay let's get her all situated here all right um, so let's take a peek inside she's a big girl we got a lot to go through okay so here is the front cover page and she has a bookmark in here and here's I always include a note from the bookmaker me and there's a beautiful letter in here from 1894 and the letter inside is is uh, nicely intact but the envelope um, is worn over the years so I'll let the owner explore that it's a nice letter and here is a beautiful um, this is a mushroom card from the ukraine these are vintage cards from the ukraine that i found and that's my uh garbage truck going by perfect timing <laughs> all right so we have that in the front cover there's some hand stamping and um sorry an ex libris area so you can put uh who this book belongs to there Oh, this is this comes off this is a envelope it's an envelope that I made collaged and inside here is a beautiful vintage book page with many beautiful illustrations on it from the 1800s okay it's an exciting morning around the town here today lots going on Okay, so all the signatures um, are wrapped with this beautiful fabric, a, a natural fabric with leaves and flowers in it. And it's also um, uh, reinforced um, across the uh, back with the uh, flower material as well for extra added strength. And she has, let me just show you her. She has three signatures. And they all have tabs. So you have Explore with a butterfly charm. And you have... Ooh, ooh, where'd you go? 
I know you're in there. There you are. Elevate with a rose. And, no, well, not two. Red one. There you go. Balance with a bird. Okay, and those dangle off the sides. Okay, back inside. Are we in frame? Yes, check. Frame check. Okay, so going on in, what do we find? Okay, on the second page, I've added a reproduction print of one of my uh, watercolor arts and um, signed the bottom. You can easily remove this and put your own art in. It's just for inspiration for you. And um, here's a book. Uh, a page from a field guide explaining some information about some birds. A little bit of lace trim that's been uh, dyed bluish on the side. Here's a lovely pocket with some bird and uh, dragonfly images. And I love this photo. This woman is up on what looks like some type of post. And these men are either helping her up or helping her down. And he's smoking a cigar, and there's got to be a good story behind this one. Maybe she wanted to be closer to the birds. Let's just think that. Here is um, a Victorian trading card. And here is some vintage paper currency from Zambia. Beautiful colors in this with a bird on the front. And I've also put some patches of material here for some different texture effect. You'll see that uh, throughout the journal. This is a flip up. It's an envelope and inside the envelope is this beautiful vintage picture of an airplane. It made me think of man would like to fly like a bird. Can't quite do it as well as a bird, but Definitely wants to be up there in the sky. All right, and some stenciling on there. Some uh, coffee dyed graph paper. Lots of coffee and tea dyeing through here. This page has some uh, vintage uh, postage here and a vintage um, label for distilled water. And here are some, here's a tearaway. I call these tearaways. You can use little bits of this anywhere you want throughout the journal, or you can actually write on this as an extra notepad. Some journaling cards with prompts on the back and more increasing your writing space. Here's a piece of a book page I just thought was beautiful. So I turned it into a tuck and it houses this receipt from 1934. First National Exchange Bank. There's an avocado dyed page. Here's a beautiful old vintage uh, card. These are birding cards from Germany. They came in a set and I just thought one of these would work perfectly here. Here's a nice little uh, pocket made from a mathematical a book page and decorated and it also houses a layaway card with some extra trim at the top. Okay, more writing place. Here's another one of my uh, reproductive, uh, reproductive, my reproductions of uh, my watercolor art. And it's also, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it's signed. And it is also removable. And there is some stenciling behind it. You can write over that. Here's a collage page, just for fun. Here's another talk spot with stenciling, a beautiful bird image, and uh, some more. Uh, places for you to write. You can write on the back here. More coffee dyed paper with stenciling and bird images. This is a great photo. This photo definitely tells a, a story. And I love how you can see the shadow of the photographer with probably one of those giant flash things back from that day. It looks like the, maybe the 30s. Could be a different country, could be here, not sure. There's cat, roosters, chickens. Beautiful picture. Um, here's a flip out. It's an envelope and in the envelope you have this beautiful uh, frog postcard. 
going along with the field guide inspiration. Some butterflies and some material. Whoop, can't see that. Butterfly washi and some fabric material for texture. And in the middle, we have a uh, flip up. This is a um, also from the Ukraine. It's a vintage uh, botanical card with some lace and some a guest check and some aged writing paper. And this is on a fabric flip up to reveal some Edith Holden below. Avocado dyed paper, quotes, uh, vintage ephemera, some extra writing paper, a little decorated uh, paper clip at the top, extra note paper, and here we go, okay, extra note paper, okay, um, vintage bingo card, another quote. This is. Um, big envelope that opens up and you've got a recipe in here and some uh, this is a what I call another little tearaway with some old newspaper vintage newspaper from 1968 and um, some more fabric and bird and decorated on the back either side collaged and she also houses a giant botanical illustration card some writing space on the back and more area for writing and inspiration. Well, my parrot is starting to talk. My parrot likes to talk in the morning. You might hear him. Okay, here's a lovely little girl. This is a picture from Germany as well. Okay, and behind her, we have a handmade envelope, a tall envelope. And I just put a few goodies in here from days gone by. Scantron from a computer image, an old receipt. Uh, remember the with the credit card? Yeah, one of those. And you can store other goodies in there if you like. Some more um, quotes. Okay. Here's a, uh, another tearaway from a book page. And uh, this is a 1940 ledger. And it, both sides, beautiful. Yeah, very interesting to see what people bought back then. Sugar, crackling, flour. A lot of sugar. Apparently sugar was the rage. Uh, here's an old book page, a quote, and here's a little booklet. There's a lot in this baby. Extra writing space. With some uh, decoration on the front, with some bird images. Here's a beautiful botanical middle page. And there is a lovely owl charm. Okay. And here is a little removable pocket and it houses many different uh, places to journal and write. Little prompts on the back of many of them. And this is actually, uh, it goes all the way through. It's like a floating belly band, you would say. And a little puppy in the corner here and another fabric square. Here's a stenciled page. Here we have a little tearaway or notebook. And here's well, not doing that way. We'll go this way. Uh, one of my original watercolors on watercolor paper that is included with this, and it's signed. All right. Here is another uh, side. This is a two-sided tuck, and this houses a beautiful bird image on a file folder and a hardware receipt. From 1906. An original. And some Edith Holden, beautiful bird image behind there. I believe this is from the graphics fairy image. There's a beautiful picture, some trees, and a poem. Okay, let me see if I can go a little closer. Yep. 
Okay, some vintage music paper. And here's a beautiful page with washi and an old library card and a um, tag, some more material. This is a lovely poem about friends on a coffee dyed page. And it's another little bird image and some bottom decor, writing area. Here's three more little items that you can write on on the back. And here is an old um, vintage, let me show you this closer. It's an old vintage, uh, it had some birds on it, so I thought it'd be cute, a little matchbooks cover. I took the matches out and I put, yes, you got it, a spotted turtle on the inside. Turning our garbage into treasure. Not our garbage. <laughs> I don't smoke. Um, beautiful image with writing space on the back. In another uh, torn page on the side. Uh, collage behind that with old newspaper. Here is another. All sorts of goodies in here. Cards. Writing prompts. A big flash card. And a beautiful swan image. And this is an upper lower tuck. So these tuck and hold this uh, page in here. And this has this beautiful bird in here. And this is from the Prince of Ellis. This is a flip out to reveal a beautiful book page from a book big nat nature picture and here's some beautiful lovers enjoying nature playing the flute all right here is a pocket with some stamping and stenciling bird decor some fibers added for texture and you have a um, journaling card on the inside with a quote on the back some washi Another beautiful book page with a quote on it. This can be removed. And we are in signature number two. This is a little booklet you can write on. Giving you more journaling space. And we're going into Elevate. Elevate. Here's another little notebook for you to write on. Some beautiful avocado dyed paper. More birdie pictures. Here's a dance pavilion ticket vintage. August 15th. Oh darn, we just missed that dance. Well, maybe next year. Here's a double tearaways that you can just use to um, sprinkle throughout your journal. Um, this is another writing space added. And it is... Uh, decoupage napkin on the outside sewn around and I gessoed the inside so that you could write on it and just put a little word prompt there for you and collage and birding writing space here we have a vintage receipt from 1904 somebody paid somebody three dollars was very important Movie trivia ticket, folding box ephemera, and here is a. Um, I'm gonna have to unstick that. Okay, are we stuck? No, nope, we'll be stuck. No. Nope. Okay, we're out. Um, sometimes it happens when I'm gluing things down. <laughs> I always go through and make sure everything's free, though. Another writing page for you, and a little poem from James Joyce. Here's uh, some old mathematical problems. Yikes. <laughs> but it's a field guide, so I want to put a little bit of numbers and science and that type of thing mixed with a little bit of vintage. And here's another label with a bird on it uh, from a matchbook. Yep, yeah, a little prompt on there, area to write. And uh, this is some uh, painting that I did on some book pages, on some dictionary pages. 
And here's some stenciling behind, beautiful tree stenciling. And you see everything here? Okay. And here's a flip out. And this has a beautiful image of this gentleman. I love this. Squatting by the bush. Who thought this would be a, a, a perfect, um, you know, presentation of someone? Okay, why don't you go squat by that bush? That will look amazing. <laughs> it's kind of funny pose. All right, here's a book page in here on uh, stereo isomerism. Yes, fascinating reading. And some beautiful birdies to take the pain away from the stereo isomerism. <laughs> Side tuck. Side tuck sewn. Avocado dyed book page. Boop, there we go. I'm uh, checking for location. Okay, here is a collage of threads and fibers, something uh, as if a bird would make a nest out of it. Um, and a peppermint stick zinnias advertisement. A little vintage newspaper piece there. Some more fabric. Uh, this is a tearaway. What do we have here? Oh, we have um, one of these vintage autograph book pages in here. And some more fabric. Great feel the fabric has. Some stenciling. And here we have a little birdie flip out. Place to write. And we have some spilling over the edge, breaking the edge of the page trim. This is from an old embroidery pattern. This is a, a journaling card that's been collaged. More journaling card. This is a... Uh, this is a little notebook that I put in here with different papers made from an Edith Holden page. Can be removed. Here's the center with beautiful butterfly charm and gorgeous nature pictures, botanical illustrations. Here's an envelope that I decorated and she has another beautiful German bird card inside of her. Another tearaway envelope. This is a flip out. You can put extra writing here. This is a, a fabric hinge made with seam binding and a beautiful bird image there. This is some stencil on a doily. Okay. And this is a removable card with writing space. Beautiful uh, botanical images on front and back and some collage. Another envelope and inside here houses a lovely antique uh, bird illustration from the 1800s and I backed it onto some paper and sewn it on for stability. The paper itself is very fragile. Okay. This is a little pocket with some other little journaling cards inside. Stamp. Here's a collection of stamps for the owner to explore in a vintage um, stamp envelope, some stenciling, and a birdie round corner tuck. Here's some eco dyed paper that I made. Um, this is a beautiful collection of butterfly stamps. The word inspire and some paper ribbon down the side. Here's some beautiful stenciling with an address card in a corner tuck with some lace and some uh, rope-like material. Ode to bees on this side. Collage. Some lace. And uh, here's some writing space. Here's a belly band made out of a, a book. Oscar Wilde, I believe. And here's some uh, painting I was doing that I turned into some um, journaling cards. Here is a playing card turned into uh, a leaf window. So there's a real leaf in there. It's on a collaged tuck, a corner tuck. It has a beautiful um, nature scene. This is from 83? 80. It's from 80. Handwritten uh, postcard and some advertising from days gone by. 
This is a little flip up or more writing space. And you are a little removable notebook. Again, uh, more decoration for the bottom. And here's some dried flowers that have been decoupaged onto the page. And this beautiful picture. Yep. There we go. Little picture of this man and little girl out in the garden. And this is a little uh, mini waterfall effect for extra note space. And each one has a prompt. Those are fun to make. Okay. Uh, Edith Holden page, removable. And we are into the final. Are we? Yeah, yeah, yes, we are into the final. A signature called Balance. And we have another flip out here. And in here is housed a lovely card from, I believe this is the 20s. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, just the color of it and everything, the creamy. And it's a, like soft fur. You can feel the fur of the bunny. <laughs> so cute. The way they used to make cards. All right. And this is a, uh, um, I get some ephemera from Australia and they have, they always send me the most beautiful stamps. So I wanted to include this in here. Isn't that gorgeous? Just gorgeous. And this is a removable notepad. Uh, this is some background pages and I just sewed that together at the top to give you extra writing room and there's some stenciling under here. And I don't know if I can show it to you this side, but this flip has some de decoration on it as well. Okay. Page. Here's a beautiful Victorian die cut and some stamping. A lovely pocket. And it houses an old check from 1915, I believe that says. And a picture. A uh, lovely woman looking off, saying to herself, I wish I was in the forest right now, but I have to go to work. <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> and here's, you must have your trade, winds muff mi trade wind muffins while you are out doing your field guiding. So this is a vintage recipe um, and makes, it says makes 12 to 14, and I'm sure that's a single serving. <laughs> it is in my books. Just the way Pepperidge Farm cookies they come in a single serving bag, right? Right? Who's with me on this? Here's a flip out of an Edith Holden page. It says Bloom. And uh, here, oh, this is interesting. I love the old um, tape on there. Scotch tape, yellowed with time, but this was from 1945. And uh, it's an old prescription. And we also have in here um, some extra writing pages and things like that. Oh, here's my scissors. I got stuck with the glue. There, we're free. More prompts and a beautiful botanical card. Postcard. Okay. Alabama stamp. Uh... I believe this is a radio, amateur radio card. And some more uh, hand painting on some book pages. Denise here, we have a collage of dragons. They could be real. <laughs> I'm not giving up hope. And we have a little bit of stamping and a little, um, some bugs on some material. <clears throat> Here's a little a uh, tea uh, package, the little journaling card on the inside. So cute. And some vintage ephemera here from sewing uh, materials. Another little tearaway notebook with some, looks like uh, coffee stains in that. And beautiful butterfly. So there's a um, decoupaged napkin on the page. And this is decoupaged flower on the page. And here's a little 
book made out of book pages, just for fun. Here's a cover to an old book. And this gives you a lot more writing space. There we go. Another tearaway with beautiful vintage card, postcard. You can use that for writing space on the back. More collage behind here. Uh, another beautiful image with some coffee dyed paper and a prompt. And stamping above and below in this little corner tuck. It's a pretty page. Little poem on here. Uh, another Victorian die cut. Here's another yep, flip out. And here we have this. I just love this picture. It's a postcard. It's a moonlight scene in Florida orange groves. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Okay. And bird stamps. And here's some uh, vocabulary page from a vintage book. And what else we have? We have another little flip up here. Flip. More writing space. Some uh, dyed cheesecloth with some book uh, birdie images. Here's another little place for you to write. A little decorated notebook. The center with a lovely flower charm. Another beautiful botanical page. A little um, notebook hanging on top. Some material. Lots of different feels throughout this book. Here's some old vintage ephemera tucked in here, in a side, a corner tuck. And here is some stamping, a corner tuck, and some beautiful things for you to write on. Mm, here we have more little things here for you to write on here. This little lady opens up and she has some graph paper that has been stamped on. Some material in the corner. Here's a decoupage page with some old newspaper and napkin. A little tag with some um, lace on it. Stencil page with a decorated paper clip. More decoupage. Here's a handwriting, beautiful calligraphy. Oh, I believe it's 1892. This is removable. Little side. Oh, this is a flip again. Whoop. In the picture. For more note space writing. Lovely little vintage image of a girl and her doll. Isn't that precious? In this little side tuck. Corner tuck. Corner tuck has two sides. <laughs> okay. More stamping. And here's a little fabric um, tag. Here's a lot. 